if the first and the nth term of a GP are A and B respectively and if P is the product of n terms then prove that P square is equal to A into B whole power n. So solution let R be the common ratio for the given GP. Then by cohesion the first term is A and first term means A1. So A1 is A. Also and term is B. So and and term is B. And term means A n. Isn't this? Again my question. What is P? P is the product of n terms. So product of n terms is equal to P. But we know product of n terms means a1 into a2 into a3 into a4 into dot dot till a n. Isn't this? Again a1 means first term. What is first term? The first term is a. a2 the second term and so on. Isn't this? So let's input a value. So a1 is a and a2 is a r. Similarly a3 is a r square. So in this manner we will keep the values till a n. What is the value of a n? It is a r n minus 1. Isn't this? Now can you say in this product how many a's are present? How many a's are present. Here are altogether how many terms? n terms. So of course there will be n number of a's. Isn't this? So when n number of a's are multiplied, what do we get? a power n. Similarly, in this case, we have r over here, we have r square over here and so on. Means first is r, then comes r square, then comes r cube and then r power 4, so on till r power n minus 1. And they all are connected by sign of multiplication. Isn't this? And we have learned laws of exponents. When bases are same, powers are added. So we can write a single base R and add up all the powers. So what is the power of this R? It is 1. So we can write 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus dot dot plus till n minus 1. Let's write all the A's together and all the terms containing R together. Is this clear? So on doing this, we get all the A's together and all the terms containing R together. Now as discussed, how many A's are over here? All together N A's. And when n a's are multiplied, we get a power n. Again, here is r, here is r, means all the bases are same. So powers can be added. So we have added all the powers. Isn't this? After this, we have learned that sum of first n natural numbers, sum of first n natural numbers is given by a formula n n plus 1 by 2. Is this clear? But if I ask what is the sum of first n minus 1 natural numbers? In this case we have n natural numbers but in this case we have n minus 1 natural numbers. So 
to get a formula simply this n will be replaced by n minus 1 similarly this n will be replaced by n minus 1 so n is replaced by n minus 1 this n is also replaced by n minus 1 then we will simplify this one to ultimately get n minus 1 and all divided by 2 so as n minus 1 it means Sum of first n minus 1 natural numbers. Sum of first n minus 1 natural numbers is given by n minus 1 and whole divided by 2. So, this portion is copied as it is. Now, this can be replaced by n minus 1 and divided by 2. This has come from this formula. Now, let's do squaring both the sides. So, on squaring both the sides, in right hand side, we have got P square. In left hand side, this whole square. Is this clear? Again, we have learned that if we are given A, B, whole power N, it can be written as a power n, b power n. Isn't this? Next is, if we are provided a power b whole power c, then it can be written as a power b into c. So, these two concepts, we are going to use over here. So, this is power 2. This power 2 is for a power n as well as r power n minus 1 and divided by 2. So we can write this as a power 2n into r power 2. This 2 means this 2. 2 in bracket n minus 1 and divided by 2 is equal to p square as it is. Now this 2 and this 2 can be cancelled. So, on cancellation, we are getting this line. Again, consider this. If we are provided a power n, b power n, then this n and this n can be brought out to be written as a, b, whole power n. So, now this concept we are going to use over here. We can check here is n and here is n. So, this n can be pulled out to be written as a square r n minus 1 whole power n. Again, this square, we have a square, a square means a into a. Isn't this? Now, we will take them together. Take these two terms together. Is this clear? Now consider this one. It is a r power n minus 1. Isn't this the formula for a n? And a n as per our question is b. So we can replace this by b. So this a same to same. And a r n minus 1 can be replaced by b. Is this clear? And this is what the question has asked to prove.